Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my updated makeup routine that I've been doing now for springtime. So keeping it pretty lightweight and fresh and just very glowing and healthy looking. This is also the makeup I've been wearing in most of my recent videos and I know some of you were asking for an updated makeup routine. So I really hope that you guys enjoy, maybe pick up on some new tips and let's get started. Okay, so starting off with clean, moisturized skin, I'm first just going to apply a little bit of this Caudalie Beauty Elixir just to kind of prep my skin for the makeup and it also just smells really good, so I really like this step. And then onto foundation, I'm using my NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint, which has a really lightweight feel to it, but the coverage is still pretty decent. I would say it's like a medium to full coverage. And I'm using a Zoeva Buffer Brush to apply this. And I would say this foundation is best for people with combination to oily skin types like myself because it does have a nice matte finish to it. But then I really like to apply a highlight on top of this afterwards so you still get that nice glow but it's not going to be oily throughout the day. And then onto concealer, I'm using my favorite one. This is the Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I'm first taking the darker shade, which is in Biscuit. And I'm going to use that to cover up any blemishes that I have, just to avoid putting on a second layer of foundation. It just kind of keeps things a little bit lighter and fresher. And then I'm taking the lighter shade in the color Custard, and I'm just going to use this to brighten up underneath my eyes, also around my nose area. And then I like to take a dampened beauty blender to blend that into my skin. And then just to set everything in place, I'm taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and using the Contour Brush by Real Techniques, I'm just going to swirl a little bit of powder in the cap with that and then press that underneath my eyes to set the concealer. And for the rest of the face, I'm using this larger face brush. This one is by Sonia Kashuk. And I'm just going to lightly sweep that across my skin. It's not going to add any more coverage, but it's really just going to set that foundation in place. Onto brows, I'm taking my Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in the color Dark Brown. And I'm first just going to use the spoolie end of this double-sided brush to just brush my brow hairs. And then with this super precise flat angled brush, I'm taking a mix of those two colors and first filling in that edge right underneath my brow and then also above it. So I try to make both of those two lines parallel to one another. And then just taking that dark brown, I'm using this to define the tail end of the brow and also defining the arch. And then to give a little bit more texture and volume to the brows, I'm taking this brow gel by Benefit called Gimme Brow. It is amazing. And I'm just gonna brush the brow hairs in an upward and outward direction. And this is also gonna keep the brow hairs in place throughout the day. Then going back to the skin, I'm going to apply some bronzer to warm up and contour my face a bit. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, which I also really love. And first to get some definition, I'm taking this Zoeva Face Paint Brush. This is a contour brush. And I'm applying this to the hollows of my cheeks and then also turning the brush sideways so that I can kind of blend out the product. And then I go back in with my larger face brush, the same one that I used with the setting powder. And I'm just gonna give like an all around sweep of bronzer to my cheeks and my forehead, just to really warm up the skin and make it look nice and sun-kissed. And then with that same bronzer, I'm taking a fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'm sweeping that into my crease to give my eyes some more definition. And I'm also taking it within the eye and then down the sides of my nose just to really accentuate those features.
And then for blush, I'm using another favorite. This is by Hourglass in the shade Diffused Heat. And this product is really cool because it's actually swirled in with their ambient lighting powder, which is a really nice kind of luminous setting powder. So it gives a really pretty sheen to the cheeks without being like overly glittery or shimmery. It's a really pretty blush. And then just as I did with the bronzer, I'm gonna take the same brush and just run that through the blush. And I'm focusing this mostly on the outer corner of my eye, but also kind of sweeping it into the crease a little bit. Just giving my lid like a wash of this beautiful pink color. And I think this hint of pink looks really pretty, especially now for springtime. And it's super quick and easy. You're just using the same product that's already on your cheeks. And then to give my skin a beautiful glow, I'm taking this highlighter. This one is by Dior. It is, I believe, from their spring collection, which was limited edition. But here are two of my other favorites that are quite similar. The first one on the left is by Becca in the shade Opal. And then the one on the right is by Kiko, and it is in number 208. And these are available all year round. So if you're looking for a good highlighter, I would definitely recommend those. But today I'm using the Dior one with a fan brush and I'm just sweeping that across my cheekbones. And I'm also taking that through my brow bone and also across my temples. And then with my fingertip, I'm applying some to the center of my eyelid. And then I'm also blending that into the crease just very gently. And I'm also taking that into the inner corners of the eyes. And this gives such a beautiful sheen to the lids. So as you can see, we just used very minimal products for both the cheeks and the eyes. And I love that everything just blends so nicely together. And it gives this really natural but still put together feel to it. And I'm just going to line my eyes, giving myself a little bit of a cat wing. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, which I love. This pen is starting to dry up a little bit. I've had it for ages. So it was a little bit difficult to get like a perfect line on that eye. So I had to go back and just fix it with a Q-tip. And then I took my NYC liquid liner, which is this one right here, just to touch up the corner of that wing. I decided to apply some falsies. These are the Demi Wispies by Ardell. I don't wear these on an everyday basis, but I do wear them when I'm filming. So I wanted to show you guys the look with the falsies as well. So I just applied those. And then I'm covering the lash band with a little bit more of that NYC liner. And then I'm applying some mascara. This is the Benefit Roller Lash, and I'm applying that to both upper and lower lashes. And I'm just taking a Q-tip to remove any product that got in my waterline. And using this nude eyeliner, I'm gonna place that in my waterline just to really open up my eyes and make them look a little bit more doll-like. And then for the lips, this is a new product that I'm trying out. It's basically like a clear lip balm that's like a primer for your lips. And I've heard that it's really good to apply underneath lip liners or matte lipsticks. So I'm applying that first, and then I'm taking this beautiful nudie pink lip liner. This is by Makeup Forever in the shade 1C. And I'm applying that to my lips, but not very carefully. I'm trying to make this look more like a stain than a very defined lip, if that makes sense. And these are really great. They're waterproof. They last forever. Plus, I really like the shade. And then I'm just taking a little bit more of that lip treatment on top, just to moisturize my lips a little bit. And then just for final touches, I'm taking a bit more of that highlight and applying it to my collarbones just to give a bit of a glow there as well. 
And lastly, setting everything in place with this Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, which is just going to remove any powdery feeling from the skin and also help to keep the makeup looking really fresh throughout the day. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. As some of you guys may notice, I am filming from a new place. So just bear with me as I kind of figure out the lighting and the setup and everything. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, you can find me on my social media. I'm on Instagram and Snapchat, and both of those are at Annie Jaffrey. I hope you're all having a really great day. Thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.